Okay, this is a tutorial on how to create the uh, stack for the train in Inventor. We're going to create a sketch. Right, for this object, we're going to use the revolve feature. So we're going to create the height of our object, which it tells us in our blueprints is 1.75. Now we're going to zoom in at the top and just click there. And go down and draw us a line down at the bottom. It tells us our bottom diameter is 0.5, so for revolve, if you remember, we have to use the radius. So our radius is 0.25, and we're going to draw up a height of 0.25. I'm going to go ahead and click there again. Now I'm going to go on the, the middle point here, and we need to go up a distance of 1.5 inches. And then I'm going to draw another line. And it tells us this line is a diameter of 1.25. So I'm going to do 1.25 divided by 2. Because, we're, again, we're using the radius. Okay. Then for our top, I'm just going to draw a line. Just any distance. It doesn't really matter. Then I'm going to draw an angled line. And then a line partially straight up. And then we can go ahead and we can connect here to here. Now we're going to dimension this and this for an angle. Okay, and it tells us currently our angle is 36.01, but our blueprint tells us we need a 15 degree angle. So we're going to put that in. Then we can trim our line here because we don't need all that. We can get rid of this, and it's going to give me an error. Okay, we can get rid of that. We hit finish. We use our revolve, select that. Our axis is obviously the center line here that we drew in. And there's our shape. Now we need to put our hole in the top, create a sketch, put a point right in the middle, hit finish, use hole. This is a counter sunk hole, so we need our counter bore diameter is 0.875. And it has a depth of 0.375. And then we have a, another depth of 1.5. And it's got a diameter of 0.375. Then we hit OK. And there is our stack. Go ahead and save the part, and you're done with that one.